doing a bit more to the um, Shaps 53 um, this is the the saddle the bit the top block goes into and the screws missing so I'm having to make a screw for it yeah, the thread is 1.4 mil or M1.4 whatever you want to call it I've already faced the um, bit of steel off so we're just going to um, turn it down to 1.4 mil or just a fraction under um, and then um, thread it do the head put a slot in it and uh, then I'll give it a blue I usually do these with a graver but uh, I decided I'd use the, the cross slide because um, it's just been rebuilt um, so I just want to make sure it's all right I have used it once before uh, can't remember what I used it for but um, I did use it once before oh I know I used it to um, I can't remember what I used it on but I used it to make sure the quick change everything worked right because it's it's off a um, or it's supposed to be for uh, a unimat but I had to um, mill some off the base and um, it did have allen bolts there that clamp the um, quick change holder on it looks to me as though that um, that stock is moving in <coughs> hmm, strange that try again perhaps I hadn't tightened it up enough do that sometimes go down a bit more yet 1.4 is quite uh, quite small we'll check that now because uh, although I think it's still a bit um, too big um, I don't want to end up going too small just under two mil a little way to go yet Oh, 
I'm going to leave the head at four mil because it uh, just makes it a bit easier for with the screwdriver. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it should look like because I haven't got one that's that I can use as a pattern, but uh, I don't suppose it's um, that important. A little bit more to go. See what that is. Point five eight. One point four nine. Point four two. Getting it. I don't mind if we go very slightly under. Still seeing one point four four, which seems a bit odd. Hmm. I don't like calipers. I really don't. But for this, I thought it'd be good enough. But might have to get the micrometer out. Well, they always seem to be measuring the same, so. Mm. Weird. Doing the thread. Okay, we're set up now for threading. Uh, I've already put a taper on the end to help the die start, and I've put a, a bit of oil on it. Just a matter now of um, threading it. Don't need to go all the way up because uh, it's only threaded 
a certain part Looking thread that will do nicely. Um, I'm not going to part it off in there. I'm going to um, saw it off. Then I'll put it back in another another collet to finish off the end. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've um, cut it off. I'm just facing the end off now. I'm getting it to a decent length um, before I put the slot in. I don't want to take too big a cut because um, it's, it's only held in a, a collet by that sort of one point three five three six something like that. By the time he's threaded a one point four. Getting near the end of this 53 now, it's um, oh, it's um, oh, <clears throat> it's been a bit of a marathon job. But we're nearly there. I've got somebody sending me a back cock for it, although I've pushed the one that's um, in there at the moment. With normal brass push it should have a, um, a jewel in it. And obviously I can't, I haven't got a jewel. I probably could have put a jewel in one, but it had already been bushed out bigger and or the hole had been opened out bigger for a bush. So um, it was easier to get another backcock, but it runs with this one, so I know it's fine. Um, it'd just be nice to have two jewels rather than one. Right, we'll bring you back in a minute when um, we're putting a slot in. Thanks very much. Okay, we're all set up. Um, put a slot in it. We'd have turned the uh, power on, wouldn't it? I just made this bit to to go in the cross slide. Um, got different size collets um, they're not mega um, precise or anything but uh, they're good enough for, for screw heads didn't like that did it I don't need damage to the screw. I don't really want to make another one. <laughs> no, I think that's all right. I'm going to get a screwdriver in it. Yeah, that's fine. Just give it a, a polish up now. And um, then we'll blue it. I don't think I um, done any damage. It's a job to find a uh, slitting saw thin enough to do the screw heads on some of the screws I do. So I didn't really want to damage it. Okay, we're all set up for getting the screw polished up. Not 
usually too fussy with them because um, although they're blue they're not they're not sort of high-end um, blue <coughs> screws they're um, they're sort of a black blue I'll just take the edge off that just try and make them so they match the the um, the other screws so I just go over it with 400 and then I go over it again with them um, 1200 and I find that once that's been blued it looks very close to the original screws so which is always the object and that's it we're done ready to um, blue I'll bring you back in a minute when I'm set up for that okay we're set up now for um, bluing, I've um, cleaned the screw in um, oh, methylated spirits, and all I do put it under the flame until. I get the colour that I want, let's move it around so it uh, so it heats evenly. Yeah, it just started to go now and drop it in. Done. After you've um After you've um, washed it in methylated spirits, do not touch it with your fingers. And that's the finished article. And that should screw into the saddle quite nicely. Like so. hope um, that was enjoyable and informative um, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more please subscribe to my channel thank you very much